Hey YouTube, today we're doing a video on the Croatian magazines. Um, you might be going, what the hell, you've already done a video on this. Yes, I have. Um, I did a video on how to identify these because the very, very early batch of these magazines were not marked. The later batches now are marked. Um, this is a marked magazine. It says made in Croatia with the, like the maple leaf or whatever. How very Canadian of them. Anyway, um, so basically this isn't a how to identify video. This is a review video. So I've loaded this magazine up numerous, numerous times. I've shot it numerous, numerous times, and I'm going to give you my impressions on it. And I'm going to compare it to proper Yugoslav magazines, communist area Yugo mags. Um, so you probably, not always, but probably will have to fit the magazine. Um, how I did that was I removed some material from the top of this magazine catch, test fit it, remove some material, test fit it, and then once I got it in nice and good, I just put some cold blue across it and called it a day. Um, the magazine locks up tight. The magazine reliably locks open when empty. All in all, they're good, solid magazines. Um, I mean, I there's nothing really to complain at all about these, so... Now, I'm going to compare it to proper Yugoslav magazines. So, we've got these two magazines here. This is a standard Yugoslav. I believe this would be considered an M70 pattern magazine, and this is a, uh, an M64 pattern magazine with the, the, hold up, the cutout pulled open. Um, so, one thing I'm going to say right now is that they're solid magazines, but these are made out of some thinner gauge material because they're they're just a touch lighter. I, I haven't weighed these or anything like that. They're they're just a touch lighter in the hand. I don't necessarily think that's gonna be cause that's gonna be cause for problems or anything like that. But that's just something to keep in mind. Um I've also heard rumors that these were made on former Yugoslav uh stamping dies. So it wouldn't be the M sixty four magazine because of the cutout. And it, it would have to be an M70 magazine. But you can see here the, the ribbing on the proper Yugoslavian magazines are much wider. So I, I don't necessarily think that's the case. Um, what else? So you can also see where the, uh, where the magazine tabs are folded over. So that there's a much there's a little bit more of an overlap with the proper Yugo mags. But, I mean, shit, not to sound too uninteresting, but, I mean, as long as you get them to fit, they're, they're good, solid, and reliable magazines, but, like, I mean, really, what aren't? Like, there aren't really too many bad magazines outside of, like, Korean magazines, which everybody, there, there's a lot of people that swear by the Korean mags, and, yeah, do me a favor and buy these instead of Korean mags, not that I have any affiliation to these guys in, in a in Croatia that are making these or anything like that. Um, I just think they're much higher quality magazines than the, uh, than the, the Romanian, or excuse me, the, uh, the Korean mags. But that's about it, guys. If you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. This isn't a normal type of video I'm doing. I, like, normally I do, like, how to identify magazines because... Do you know what type of magazine that is? Yeah, no, probably not. So... Um, if you want to, if you've got a pile of, uh, random surplus steel magazines or random surplus magazines in general, and you want to know what they are, uh, start watching my videos. You probably narrow it down before too long. So that's about it, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you.